UFC 270's main event between Francis Ngannou and Cyril Gane will be closely followed by John Jones, who is hoping to make a UFC return in a new division later this year. Taking to his social media a few days ahead of UFC 270, Jones refused to commit to an official prediction for the clash between Ngannou and Gane, but admitted he is excited to learn more about the heavyweight pair. Tweeting, really have no clue who's going to win. I'm just excited to watch the fight, going to learn so much about the both of them no matter how it goes down. What do you guys think about the Nganu vs Gan matchup? Who do you think is going to win? Leave your comments below. This coming Saturday, Francis Nganu will go head to head with current interim champ Cyril Gan who will be cornered by Nganu's former coach, Fernand Lopez. The split between Nganu and Fernand Lopez has been nasty with both parties talking to the media about problems in their relationship. However, during his recent appearance on Submission Radio, Coach Lopez expressed his desire to bury the hatchet with Francis Nganu after UFC 270. In the interview, Lopez commented, I'm totally sick of it. I'm tired. I can't do that anymore. The problem is, being authentic is not easy to do. Whenever you're authentic, you get in trouble at some point. I don't want to sound like the ex-wife who can't let go because they split. I'm really open to shaking his hand anytime or talk with him anytime, but I can't work with him anymore. It's like you were working in a very complicated job and you discovered how to work in a comfort zone. In the best comfort zone that you can have. So yeah. I will not go back to work with Francis ever, but I think as a gentleman, we should be able to say hello, how are you doing, that's it, and be polite. We choose our friends, and you can be friends with this guy and not be friends with that guy. I don't think we really can keep working or do any friendship, I think we just have to be polite to each other and be respectful. Nate Diaz and Dustin Poirier were originally scheduled to fight back at UFC 230 in 2018. However, the bout never came to fruition and both men blamed the other for pulling out first. Since then, they have taken more shots at one another as they continue to try and push for the fight. Despite their effort, for whatever reason, the UFC has not made the fight and now Diaz took to social media to plead his case for the scrap one more time. Here's the tweet. UFC, stop playing with me, consider this my signature to fight this f I've been trying to fight for a minute, quit slowing down the real fight game, it's time. Shortly after, Poirier replied by saying, I'm gonna fight your ass. During a recent interview with ESPN's Brett Okamoto, Dana White responded to Nate Diaz's tweet and confirmed the UFC is still interested in making this fight happen. Here's the clip. Nate Diaz tweeted today and uh you know, he's, he's been eyeing this fight with Dustin Poirier. It seems like it's something he wants. You know, he said, um, you know, UFC considered this my signature to fight this guy. Stop. Um, I don't want to, I want to make sure I get this right. He quit slowing down the real fight game is what he says. He's basically saying he wants a fight. He wants it with Dustin Poirier. What is your interest level on that? Yeah, of course we're interested. I mean, this is what we do. We make fights every weekend. You know, what happens is guys just want to, jump out of nowhere and say, all right, I, I want to do this, I want to do that. We have fights booked all the way up until like, uh, I want to say May 2nd right now. We, we, you know, everything is in place, everything is done. So um, obviously Nate Diaz will get, I say this all the time, I've been saying this for 20 years. We have to get guys, we're contracted to fight guys three times a year, they got to get fights. He'll get a fight. What do you guys think about the Diaz-Poirier matchup? Who do you think would win? Let us know in the comments section. Fernand Lopez, former head coach of Francis Ngannou, 
claimed in the recent days that Sirogan often dominated the heavyweight champion in sparring sessions. However, during UFC 270's pre-fight press conference, Ngannou stated that he knocked out Gan in sparring with a head kick. Francis also said it was an accident, and he's never felt the need to talk about it before. Here's the clip. You said in the countdown that you, you knocked Cyril down in sparring. I wanted to clarify, did you knock him down or did you knock him out? Did I say that on countdown? You did say that on countdown. Oh, sorry, I said that. Yes, I knocked him out. You knocked him out? Yeah. With what? Uh, high kick, left high kick. Oh. Well, uh, let me say this. Um, that knockout wasn't a... Um, he wasn't a uh, voluntary knockout. Like, he was in a sparring. It was an accident. You know, I didn't intend to knock him out. To knock him out, I didn't go there to knock him out. So, uh, personally, it's not something that I, I will be proud of and like walk around and like feel like tough because I knocked my sparring partner out or knock him down or whatever, you know. So, usually stuff like that happen in the uh, training but it's always an uh, accident because uh, we are uh, committed to take care of our partner. Uh, so to, be, to, be, to be clear, it was an accident? Yeah. Okay. During Wednesday's UFC 270 pre-fight press conference, UFC interim heavyweight champion Cyril Ghosn weighed in on a potential super fight with John Jones and shared his prediction for the upcoming fight against Francis Ngannou. Here's what he said. Good question and I don't have the, the perfect answer but because I'm not a magician so I don't know exactly what's gonna happen every time. It's like that but I'm comfortable and com I'm confident and uh, I know what, what thing I can do against this kind of guy really powerful i know i can manage this i did it already and and i don't know exactly but everything is possible i can knock him down of course because i'm a, i'm i'm in a heavy way i can submit him also or maybe i can finish the game at the end this is if this is the better option i, I have this will be the pleasure if tomorrow I win against Francis. Yes, I want to fight against John Jones. This is the next one. Um, a lot of people talk about that already because we are maybe the more um, more well-wanted guys in, in this division, um, and the people talk a lot of about a technical fight. It will be probably a good matchup. So yes, if it's possible. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, yeah. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAmemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Connor McGregor. Second place goes to Ambient Thoughts. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named Emsty. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAmemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.